ಓಂ ಗಂ ಗಣಪತ್ತೆ ನಮಃ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಡೆಲೈಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವ್ಯಾಸರಾಜಯತಿ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮ ಆಥರ್ಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ರಾಜ ಎಸ್ ಗುರುರಾಜಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಫೈವ್ ಎಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿವರ್ಡ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಮೆನಿ ಎಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಮರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಗೇನಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವೈಡ್ ಫೇಮ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೌಂಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ದ್ವೈತ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಶ್ರೀಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಹು ಲೆಟ್ ದ ದ್ವೈತ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ನರಹರಿ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾಧವ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಕೋಟತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಜಯತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಣ್ಯ ರಾಜತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಜೇಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಕವೀಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಜಯಧ್ವಜ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಗೀಶ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಭುಧೇಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಜಿತಮಿತ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ರಘುನಂದನ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಸುರೇಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಸ್ವರ್ಣವರ್ಣ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾರಾಯಣ ಮುನಿ ಶ್ರೀ ವ್ಯಾಸರಾಜ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಜಯೇಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಇತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುಧೀಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುಷ್ಮೇಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಅಡಿಷ್ನಲಿ ದ ಎಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಹರಿದಾಸ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಪುರಂದರದಾಸರು ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಜಯದಾಸರು ಶ್ರೀ ಗೋಪಾಲದಾಸರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥದಾಸರು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಲಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಮಿನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿವರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಎಲಾಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೇಕ್ರೆಡ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೆಸ್ಸರಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರೋವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ವೈತ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀ ಸು ಸುಪ್ರಮಾಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾಧವಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಡೂರಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರ್ವೋತ್ತಮ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಹು ಆರ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾಲೋವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಭಾಗವತ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಆರ್ ರಿನೌಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಷ್ಟಿಕ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ despite being adherent of different philosophies for centuries they proudly identify themselves as part of the shastika lineage even today notably the senior swami ji of the international renowned shri kanchi kamakoti peetham is a kannadiga who identifies himself as belonging to the shastika lineage many distinguished historical figures also belong to the to this lineage for instance Veeraballa the grandson of Vishnuvardhana who ruled the Dwarasamudra from 1173 to 1220 AD had Rudrabatta of the Shastika lineage as his minister Rudrabatta composed the epic Jagannatha Vijaya and was praised by Jain poets as Krutisha Krutisharada ಬರ್ಹುಪುದ್ ಪುದ್ರ ಗಂಗ ಗಂಗಾಧರ ಭಟ್ಟನ್ ದ ಫೌಂಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ವರ್ಚುವಲಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪೀಠಾದೇಶಾಸ್ ಹು ಕ್ರೇಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಥ್ರೋನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾಧವಾಚಾರ್ಯಾಸ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಶಾಷ್ಟಿಕ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ತೀರ್ಥರು ದ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾಧಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಜಯತೀರ್ಥರು ಜಯತೀರ್ಥರು ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾಧೀರ ರಾಜತೀರ್ಥರು ದಿಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ಅನ್ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ಡೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾಧಿರಾಜ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಜಯೇಂದ್ರ ವಿಜಯೇಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಟು ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರ್ವಾಂಗ್ನ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಜೇಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಸರ್ವ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೂರ್ವಾದಿ ಮಠ or the institution of Sri Rajendra Tirthuru. It later gained fame as the Sri Vyasaraja Mata and Sri Vyasaraja Guru Guru Sarabhupama, a renowned figure, graced it. All the Pita Deshas who presided over
established by Srivadacharya from Sri Padmanabha Tirthuru to the present day, the heads of the institutions have been from the Shastika lineage, highlighting the importance and distinctiveness of this 62 family lineage. The prominent institutions founded by the heads of Sri Madhacharya's tradition such as Sri Padmanabha Tirtharu, Satsam Pradaya, Sri Sri Padarajar Matha, the Sri Madhva Tirtha, Satsam Pradaya, Sri Madhva Tirtha Matha or Majjige Halli Matha and the Satrampare Sri Akshoba Tirtha Matha established by Sri Madhva Sri Madhavya Tirtharu have also had leaders from the Shastika lineage until recently, where the tradition seems to have ceased. The lineage established by Sri Madhava Tirthuru, known for the Loka Bhushana Prashishtaya Sri Loka Pujya, split into two, two during his time. One Matha was led by Sri Punakirti, known today as Sri, the Sri Akshoba Tirthuru original institution of Balagaru Mata, while the other was led by Sri Ragupungava, now known as Sri Kudilgi Arya Akshoba Tirthar Mata. In these Mathas, particularly in the Kudilgi Sri Akshoba Tirthar Mata, the tradition of having heads from the Shastika lineage, spe- specifically disciples of Sri Raghavendra Swami Matha continued for five to six decades. Due to various reasons and some interventions, this tradition ceased. In the Balagaru Matha, the leadership alternated between the Shastika lineage and others. The current head, Sri Raghumanya Tirtharu, is a grandson of the Shastika lineage. In the Sri Padmanabha Tirtharu, Satsampradaya Sri 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 Pada Raja Matha, the heads have been from the Shastika lineage from the past to the present day. In the renowned institution of Sri Madhvacharya, the Dakshinadi Matha, also known as the Matha of Sri Vibhudendaru or Sri Raghavendra Tirtaru, the heads have consistently belonged to the Shastika lineage from the beginning until today. Additionally, since the time of Sri Raghavendra Swami, the heads have been from the Bhika Mudre family of the Pak lineage and the Gautama Gotra. In the Sri Sripada Rajar Mata, since his time, the heads have been from the Vishwamitra and Gautama Gotras and the Bhika Mudre family. This is a significant aspect of the Daita philosophy. In this illustrious Shastika lineage, Vallabhadeva born into the Kashyapa Gotra was a royal representative in the Vattapura or Bannur region of what is now Tirumaku Dalu Taluk in Karnataka. He was the son in law of Dundiraja, a vassal of Jamakandi. Vallabhadeva had a son named Narsimadeva and daughter name is named Bharati. Narsimadeva, the son of Vallabhadeva was married to Rukambe. They had six sons blessed by Sri Jehadvaja Tirtharu, the brother of Sri Rajendra Tirtharu. The youngest Ramacharya was known in political circles as Vallabhasumati or Balana Sumati. In the 15th century, the Bannuru region, part of the Talakadu kingdom, was ruled by Venkatagiri Nayaka. His ministers, royal priests and close associates including Narsimadeva, also, uh, also known as Barbana Sumati, the father of Ramacharya. After Narsimadeva, Ramacharya's father served as the minister. He took charge of the administration under Venkatagiri Nayaka's rule in Bannuru. The 62 family lineage is notable for its distinguished figures including direct disciples of Srimadvacharya and leaders of his Vedanta empire, such as Sri Abhyatirtha, Sri Jayatirtharu, Sri Vidyadirajaru, Sri Rajendra Tirtharu, Kavindra Tirtharu, 
ಜಯಧ್ವಜ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಸ್ವರ್ಣವರ್ಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾರಾಯಣ ಮುನಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುಧೀಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ವಿಜಯೇಂದ್ರರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸುಧೀಂದ್ರ ತೀರ್ಥರು ಆಲ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಶಾಷ್ಟಿಕ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಎಂಫಸೈಸ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಮಾರ್ಕಬಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶಾಷ್ಟಿಕ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಗೋತ್ರಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ಕಶ್ಯಪ ಗೋತ್ರ ಆತ್ರೇಯ ಗೋತ್ರ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ ಗೋತ್ರ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಗೋತ್ರ ಗೌತಮ ಗೋತ್ರ ಜಮದಗ್ನಿ ಗೋತ್ರ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಗೋತ್ರ ಶಾಂಡಿಲ್ಯ ಗೋತ್ರ ಅಗಸ್ತ್ಯ ಗೋತ್ರ ಹರಿತ್ಸ ಗೋತ್ರ ಭದ್ರಾಯಣ ಗೋತ್ರ ಕೌಂಡಿನ್ಯ ಗೋತ್ರ ಕೌಷ್ಟಿಕ ಗೋತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀವತ್ಸ ಗೋತ್ರ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಭಾರತ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಸರ್ವೈವ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈವ್ಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಿಕೆ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಶಾಷ್ಟಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಸ್ವರ್ಣ ಭಂಡಾರಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಟ್ರೆಷರ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶಾಷ್ಟಿಕ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ ಗೋತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ರಿನೌಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಕೇಶವ ಭಟ್ಟ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದುಂದಿ ರಾಜ ಕೇಶವ ಭಟ್ಟ ಸನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಟ್ಟ ಡೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕದಂಬ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆನ್ಸೆಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಡ್ ಅ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಟ್ರೆಷರಿ ದಸ್ ದೇ ಅರ್ನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಸ್ವರ್ಣ ಭಂಡಾರಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಟ್ರೆಷರರ್ಸ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ರೂಲರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕದಂಬ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ತ್ರಿನೇತ್ರ ಕದಂಬ ಹಾರ್ನೋಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ಬೈ ಗ್ರಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ದ ರೀಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಂಡಾರಿ ಕೆರೆ ನಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೇ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಕಾಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಟ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬ್ರೇವರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಾಯಲಿ ಟು ದ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಭಟ್ಟಾಸ್ ನಾಯಕಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ವರ್ಣ ಭಂಡಾರಿ ಡೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಮಯೂರ ವರ್ಮ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕದಂಬ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಎ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಕ ಎ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅರೋಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಅಶ್ವಮೇಧ ಯಜ್ಞ ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಎಂಪರರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಶಾಷ್ಟಿಕಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ದ ಶಾಷ್ಟಿಕಾಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ದರ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದ ಕದಂಬ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ವೆಟರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೇವನಗರಿ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಳುಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ their steadfast commitment to their faith and willingness to abandon the position for the sake of religious preservation earned them widespread admiration and respect after leaving the kadamba empire one generation of the shastika lineage settled in the dakshina kannada region another in the kalinga region a third in the present day maharashtra and another in the shringeri region while the remaining members settled in devagiri in the shastika lineage that settled in dakshina kannada srimadhyageha batta and his son srimadvacharya became world renowned figures among the shastikas who went to kalinga sri shobhana batta that is sri padmaraba tirtharu and sri shama shastri that is sri narhari tirtharu gained prominence the shastikas who settled in maharashtra later became famous as the chitpavana community this lineage produced notable figures including the peshwas of maharashtra the shastikas who went to shringeri became the ancestors of the brothers known as sri vidyaranya a renowned advaita scholar the swarna bandari lineage of the shastikas who settled in the devagiri impressed the chalukya kings with their knowledge talent bravery and valor the chalukya rulers honored them by appointing them as vassals of jamakandi similarly other shastikas were granted villages and lands in the chalukya kingdom and were respected with various high positions within the empire in the swarna bandari lineage keshava batta and dundi raja were renowned and ruled the jamakandi region keshava batta's son gobinda batta born in 1282 ad became a great scholar after keshava batta gobinda batta ruled the jamakandi region during this time he met sri madh
before Mad- madhvacharya's final disappearance to badrikashrama he had arranged for his vedanta empire to be led successfully by his disciples sri padmanabha tirthru sri narahari tirthru sri madhava tirthru and the youngest sri akshobha tirthru who continued to manage the dwaita empire this is a well known historical fact sri vidyaranya the founder of the vijayanagar empire and sri akshobha tirthru were classmates and friends in their early ashrama life both belonging to the shastika lineage while one established the advaita philosophy and the other the dwaita philosophy they maintained their friendship despite their philosophical differences it is notable that sri akshobha tirthru stayed for some time in the developing vijayanagara and later left due to the corrupt practices of emperor somashekara moving to manyakheta later in mulabagalu during a philosophical debate sri akshobha tirthru defeated vidyaranya in the interpretation of the phrase tatvamasi and established a victory pillar this event is well documented in history dundi raja who ruled jamakandi had three sons narhari nayaka krishnappa nayaka and ragunatha nayaka and two daughters dundi raja married his eldest daughter to sarvottama deva of the bharata lineage and his second daughter to vallabha deva of the shastika lineage and kashyapa gotra who ruled the bannuru region under gangaraja's dom- dominion around this time a conflict arose between alauddin of the bahmani state and the rulers of Dev- devagiri dundi raja of jabakandi along with his son in law sarvottama deva and his younger son ragunatha nayaka joined the forces supporting devagiri against alauddin unfortunately during the battle dundi raja sustained severe injuries and sarvottama deva was killed attaining martyrdom ragunatha nayaka who was fighting elsewhere arrived too late to change the course of events the bahmani forces won the battle and jamakandi came under their control however under the orders of gangadhar bhatta a distant relative of dundi raja founder of the bahmani state and chief minister and advisor to alauddin the later reinstated ragunatha nayaka as the ruler of jamakandi respecting dundi raja's advanced age ragunatha nayaka after renouncing worldly life divided his estate into four parts he gave two parts to his elder brother narahari nayaka and his second younger brother krishna panayaka which included the manavi region and parts of purandara that is pur in the present day shivamogga district he entrusted the remaining two parts to a trust committee for the support of scholars and the provisions of food for pilgrimages pilgrims ragunatha nayaka then accepted the parmahamsa ashram from his uncle's son and the head of the acharya mahasansthana sri akshobha tirthru around 1363 to 65 ad he became known as sri jay tirthru and earned fame worldwide for his renowned comment- commentaries on srimad acharya's original text gaining the tight title tikacharya sarvottama deva of the bharata lineage of the shastika clan the eldest son in law of dundi raja left behind two young sons rajadeva and jayadeva upon his death in the in battle rajadeva the elder later became sri rajendra tirthru his brother jayadeva became sri jayadvaja tirthru sri vidyadhi raja tirthru granted the ashram to the elder brother who be, who became sri rajendra tirthru sri vagish tirthru's nephew sri kavindra tirthru became the younger successor both became disciples of sri vidyadhi rajaru and leaders of sri madhvacharya's mahasansthana after sri rajendra tirthru his younger brother jayadeva succeeded him as sri jayadvaja tirthru among the 14 gotras of the 61 family lineage vishwamitra gotra is one this gotra includes six families among which the betta family is renowned in this family timmana betta was a learned scholar and a bright personality he was interested by narahari varma the king of chandragiri with the administration and religious affairs of the tirupati srinivasa deva temple hence people called timmana betta as betta acharya 
In this family, two brothers, Sheshigiri Sharma and Bhima Sharma, gained prominence. The elder Sheshigiri Sharma married Bharati Devi, the daughter of Vallabhadeva of Bannuru. Sheshigiri Sharma and Bharati Devi had many sons, including the renowned Sri Purushottama Tirtaru, Sri Swaranavarana Tirtaru, Sri Brahmanya Tirtaru, and Sri Lakshmi Narayana Muni, also known as Sri Padaraja Tirtaru. Sri Purushottama Tirtaru received the ashram from Sri Jayadvaja Tirtaru. The disciples of Sri Rajendra Tirtaru and became the head of the great institution. His successors were Sri Brahmanya Tirtaru. Both Sri Brahmanya Tirtaru and Sri Lakshmi Narayana Muni became heads of Sri Padmanabha Tirtaru Mata, established by Sri Padmanabha Tirtaru and renowned in his name. The illustrious relatives of these eminent figures include Sudhinda Tirtaru of the Kashapa Gotra, Sri Vijayendra Tirtaru and Sudhinda and Sudhindra Tirtaru of the Chinna Bandari lineage. All three achieved immense fame as the heads of Sri Madhvacharya's Mahasanstana in the esteemed lineage of Sri Kavindra Tirtaru. The relative Lakshmi Narayana Acharya of the Kashyapa Gotra was the husband of Venkata, Venkatanabha Devi, the elder sister of the world-renowned Sri Raghavendra Swami in his pre-monastic life. Sri Vijayendra Tirtaru and his brother Guru Prasada are descendant of Narahari Nayaka from the Bharadwaja Gotra who was the youngest brother of Sri Jayatirtharu in his pre-monastic life. Srinivasa Nayaka, a descendant of Krishna Nayaka, Narahari Nayaka's younger brother was the son of Veradappa Nayaka. Varadappa Nayaka. Srinivasa Nayaka later became the illustrious Sri Purandara Dasaru, the jewel of the Vaishnava tradition. Krishna Bhatta of Bhiga Mudre family belonging to the Gautama Gotra was a relative of Sri Lakshmi Narayana Muni, that is Sri Pada Rajaru, and the great grandfather of Sri Raghavendra Swami, Raghavendra Swami. Thus, at the time when our narrative begins, the renowned Brahmanya Tirtaru adored the Sri Madhacharya's Mahasanstana, succeeding Sri Rajendra Tirtaru from the esteemed Shastika lineage. ओम श्री कृष्णार्पणमस्तु